Hi, welcome back. I'm Ashley Sue, and I do videos on midlife, mental health, and BTS. And these three things not only really converge in my own life, but they really converge together on kind of a global scale. In case you aren't incredibly familiar with BTS or you don't keep track of the immediate news with BTS, BTS has been involved since 2017 in a campaign called Love Myself. It's a partnership with UNICEF. And as a new army, I have been a little disappointed that I sort of missed out on the Love Myself campaign. My journey with BTS started less than six months ago. <laughs> a huge part of what draws me to BTS isn't just the talent and the insightfulness of their videos and the intelligence behind the work they do. It has been that somehow even across a language barrier, I very much understood that they have a continuous coherent message about loving yourself. And this is before I had a clue that there was an entire UNICEF campaign that they spoke at not one, but two UN conferences regarding empowering youth, loving yourself, speaking up. And while I am not young and I am not a child, which is what the partnership is largely geared to. There is still something to be said about our inner child and perhaps things that we're struggling with now from our own childhood or that we're not even sure where we're struggling with them from. So last night, no, it's, it's night, got the kids in bed and I wanted to unwind a little bit before I went to bed so I pulled up YouTube to watch some BTS something. And hello, there's a video PSA right there that BTS and Big Hit have renewed their commitment with UNICEF for the Love Myself campaign. The partnership itself is great, but hearing the guys themselves talk about how their message of love myself has helped them grow, helped them heal. The word they used, at least in translation, was console. And that love myself has been a very unifying message for them. I'm really jazzed to be part of the love myself campaign during this go of it. Since BTS has kicked off the love myself campaign, I am going to do a reaction to BTS video Idol. It was part of the Love Yourself Answer album which was released in 2018. All the songs that were released on the Love Yourself albums, which is a trilogy of sorts, those are all very unifying in that message of loving yourself. That's what Epiphany is on. That's what Serendipity is on. Magic Shop is a great song with another great purpose, but we're going to go with Idol because it's not just them telling us to love ourselves, it's them walking their walk. I've done some research on the video, on their inspiration behind it. At this point in BTS's career, the seven men, individually and as a group, had received a lot of hardship and, for lack of a better word, hate. I kind of hate the hate concept, but they had received a lot of that in their lives and career up to this point. A little bit of it arguably warranted. A lot of it not, and this is a reaction to that I personally hear a lot of hate geared toward BTS by people who've never listened to them, who don't look into their message, don't know anything about their message. So let's get on with this. I got a coffee hot chocolate with me. It's midnight. I'm hoping that I don't get coffee and chocolate all over my face. If I do, excuse me, I'm going to love myself anyhow. When did this come out? 2018. Between two to three years ago. I love the filters. Okay. I already want to hit pause. 
You know something that bugs me? People who don't post anything online without it being through filters, which, okay. Yeah, that's totally worth stopping on right there. <laughs> Thank you for that, Jimin. Such a metaphor for life. The fact that, honestly, anything we put online, including this video, is through a filter. I am filtering the message I'm giving you. I'm filtering how I look to some extent. This is what we do in life. Whether or not it's actually online or face-to-face -face interactions, we are filtering at all times. But man, I am bummed that there are people, I have family members who I love, who are beautiful, and they won't send pictures or videos of themselves unless it is heavily filtered and edited. And it bums me out. Um, I want pictures and videos that look like you instead of, um, back to the filter thing. I mean, I mean, the, that, that, it, it's not a mistake that RM included that. All right, we just come back it up, y'all. And you start dancing again. Those mannequins beside him were awesome, by the way. Jimin! Hey! Sugar! Hey! That's art they did! I'm gonna have to go back and look at those. <laughs> did you see V's face? <laughs> oh my god. Man, I thought dynamite was trippy as hell. This video is bonkers. So my husband noticed, he's wearing a Bugs Bunny sweater. This is from two, over two years ago. My husband noticed that in the MTV Unplugged performance of Telepathy, a lot of them were wearing Bugs Bunny necklaces, clothing. Are the two things connected? What's up? The bunny in the moon, I know, is a Korean thing. They don't have a man in the moon, they have a bunny in the moon. I love this video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so ridiculous and wonderful. Hooray, it's so awesome. You can't stop me loving myself. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> this is so much fun. Oh my god, that's like. I want to know what his necklace was. <laughs> Are all those people masked? Oh my god, that head thing he just did. Jimin always looks like he wants to attack you or he wants to attack you. Okay, that was awesome. That was stellar! No! Wait, I do like this song. But no, I need to uh, go back, go back, go back, go back.
All right. First things first. <laughs> Can I get that spot where we... <laughs> I don't even think it'll translate as funny in freeze frame. I love their clothes. to move like Yongi. Ah, oh, I forgot to keep looking at the pictures. There's three. Surely they got their seven of them somewhere there. I do not, I do not understand what is happening to me right there. <laughs> what are you doing and why? <laughs> oh my god, I love it. That was so much fun, why? Alright, I want to find their pictures. Let's find their pictures. Okay, JK's painting. Check, right? Jimin's painting is next. <sighs> that was Sugar's I cannot seem to for the life of me. Get to it. <sighs> okay. Jen's they don't even seem to fully show. kill me every time now every time I see this video dang oh their facial expressions are so much fun trippy what is up with V his face is so into it he's so expressive <laughs> Look, look, look at them dancing right there. I just want to see one more time. Look at them down there. <laughs> oh my god, these guys have so much fun. <laughs> I think V was feeling extraordinarily good on the day of this shoot. Shimon, what are you doing? There's no word for what you are. Masked and helmeted. I adore this video. What an awesome video. That was good. That was too good. All right, for good measure here, we're going to look at the Jolly video. Jolly is a British 
Priest. He reviews different popular music. He did an amazing one to On. If you want to understand what the official music video for On is about, please check out Jolly's reaction to it. I'll post it below. From the first scene all the way to the last, it is just saturated with biblical references. Uh, this is Jolly. <laughs> video on YouTube has just broken the record for the most views in 24 hours ever. Mm. Wow. 45 I didn't know that. million in 24 hours. I mean, this is so, two years ago. Oh, so. I can't even get my head around that. Do you have any idea who broke that record? If you had to guess. Oh, is it is it a K-pop band? It's a K-pop band. Yes. I've, never, I've never seen a K-pop band. Yeah, I didn't know anything really? about K-pop back yeah. then. Ever. Ever. The band is mm. This is Jolly's first K-pop video. Yes, I've heard of BTS. Okay. But you've never seen one of their music videos? Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> I, I, they could literally could be here. I would have no idea who they are. Their fans are called The Army. BTS. They are, I mean, BTS. What does it sound for? <laughs> what do you, have a guess. Have a guess. You're working me, Boy Snot. Boys, talented, sexy. <laughs> <laughs> The name of that song that broke all those records mm. is Idol. Idol? Ooh. An idol is the very commonly used term in Korea to describe sort of a K-pop star. Idol. 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 However, idol. something I've learned very different connotations. Yeah. In English. Biblically, it's, you know, it's pretty clear. Is in Korea yeah. also yeah. idol yeah. is not a okay. title people okay. appreciate having. Uh, it usually means you're not very talented, that you are sort of a, a fabricated type of star without any real artistry behind what you're doing. It's like the beginning of Lion King, isn't it? Oh yeah! Ah, Okay, colonnades in the background, there are some good dancers. Very good dancers. So, <laughs> this is like static in my head. <laughs> There's so much going on. It's that yes. How they're giving a kind of a, a commentary on how people speak to them. Mm. You know, I think the line is, you call me artist, artist you call me idol. So it's very interesting that they're not saying, I'm an idol worship me. They're kind of saying, you call me this, you call me this. And then they said, I'm free. Every time they move anywhere, yeah. they must get swamped. Yeah, that would yeah, be yeah. a really hard life. So they're kind of like trying to maybe still own some of their own identity. And maybe the only way they can do that really is through their music. Mm. That's interesting. Yeah. You can't stop me loving myself. Mm. Which is kind of, it seems though, they're addressing the issue of what it is possibly to be an idol. How do you deal with that, right? How? Because yeah. they're just normal people. Mm. They're created like you and me. Disclaimers. We are not saying that we're like beaches. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but they need to eat. They need to sleep. They, 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 they need to go to the toilet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they will. But they live an extreme existence. They do, they love you still. <laughs> they're lovely, I love that. So, <laughs> wait, did they just reference John Woods? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, go back. I mean, sorry. Face off. That spotlight. Face off. Face off. Like the movie Face Off with Nicholas Cage. Yeah, so another, maybe another. And John Travolta. Yeah. John Woo is an Asian director, first off, and he was nominated for an Academy Award. So maybe they're referencing sort of that, and in their sort of subtle reference to their own success, which has been like a big deal mm -hmm. in the West, bringing Asian success to a more international audience. Awesome. They're in Hamburg now, traditional Korean wear. Oh, nice. There's a lot of Oh, and this, this that's bit. The shark. Is it it's the jaws with the deleted scenes? Is it, is it the uh, uh, Meg or whatever it's saying? Meg! I want to what they keep saying. Or the or it's like an old school Korean word that comes from like a Korean traditional pan sort of like dance thing. Mm. That's what they say. Orsu. I want to start saying that now. Yeah. Orsu. Orsu. Yeah. 
So they're in the shark's mouth. Is that where the shark can't get in? Yes, shark, go away. Oh, okay. Can't touch me yet. <laughs> Screw you, Jason Statham. <laughs> wow. That, that right there, that jump, that's also like a traditional Korean Oh, dance. that's so cool! Mm. This is my culture, this is also part of who I am. It seems like quite an identity focus. Yeah, song. Is he, uh, he took off a New York hat. Is he saying something with that, do you think? I love it. This is the video. Everything, Everything has a meaning. What's the meaning of his red hat? Probably does have. Can stop me loving myself. <laughs> It's gonna be in my head now. Yeah. Forever. I feel something like idol. Um, that what I hear as a priest is idol worship. Mm. And the kind of pitfall of our human nature to worship things other than God. Like bomb. Like bomb. Things like sex as well. Oh, sex. Okay. And yeah. power. And God. So it's, it, it's worrying to think, oh gosh, I've never seen K-pop before. Are they gonna take that and go extreme and go, worship me, I'm worthy of worship. But actually, I think what they were doing was highlighting the failure the, or the failings or the trappings of what it means to be an idol. In order to help you to love others, oh. having a heart of love for yourself is an important mm. thing. It's not prideful to love yourself. It's a good thing because you are... I'm so glad I played this because because Rev Chris really hit. As I said in my first kickoff video here back in, was that January? Talked about how BTS's music, the music itself far transcended me needing to understand. It, it, it's the most surreal experience I've ever had with any art. So much so that I was afraid to look into any of the translations for any of the songs because I really, really, really just did not want it to be boy band gibberish. I just really was afraid that it was going to be that. I've been moved by how much depth and soul and heart and mind goes into the lines of their song, plots of their videos, the partnerships and collaborations they take on. So the Love Myself campaign, really, it, it's driving home for me at the right time and I'm thankful to be a part of ARMY now that there's a part two to the Love Myself campaign and that I too can work on loving myself and spreading that love to others, helping others love themselves. Hit like if you like this video or dislike if you didn't. Hit subscribe if you are into midlife mental health and BTS where I do my serendipity Saturdays and or sugar Sundays where we focus on BTS and how that impacts mental health in particular. If you struggle, know you're not alone. I am struggling too in a lot of ways that I can't put into words and find relief and consolation where you can. Prayer, meditation, BTS. If those are the only three places that you get respite and consolation in your heart, soak in those. Get that consolation and healing where you can and keep working on loving yourself. Grow through it, right? That's what we're trying to do right now. We're trying to grow through it. Just know that you never walk alone. How do they wind down I wonder what Rev Chris is doing now. Flashing lights and boy fight mini in 24 hours. And, yeah. and screaming people everywhere. It's like, imagine trying to have a conversation and some sort of. <laughs> you're like, hello, how are you? I'm fine. <laughs> you know, it's just like. <gasps> like oh, that's that's like, what it's like having a newborn baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or a three year old. <laughs>